Hello, Internet. Welcome to another one of Jessco's exciting WPF tutorials. And today, we are going to talk about watermarked text boxes. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with what a watermarked text box is, if you would kindly put your attention over to this quick launch text box. Notice how it says quick launch, but then when you select into it, you can type freely without having to remove uh, the quick launch text. Well, let's go ahead and get started with uh, creating this, shall we? Now, we're not going to need too many different uh, additions to this. As a matter of fact, the code is fairly minimal as well. So, first thing that we're going to do is we are going to insert a text box. Second thing we are going to do is remove the text from here. And then we are going to pretty much just copy this exact same code. Reason being is because with a watermark text box, it is basically a text box within a text box. One has focus, the other one does not. All right, so margin equals 126, 131, 0, 0. And yes, I am aware I could have just copied and pasted this, but I'm a little lazy. Vertical alignment, top, and width should be 120. And we'll close this. All right, and boom. Perfect. We're also going to remove this text wrapping here. There. Now we have two text boxes sitting directly on top of one another. Seems fairly straightforward. So, top one, let's call this user input. Bottom one, let's call this watermark text. And this one is a got focused event, which is, needs a new event handler. This one is a lost focused event with its own new event handler. And before I forget, let's actually add text to this one. And this will be search. Right, and that's everything we need to do in XAML. All right, so now we have our two events here. And now you may be asking, okay, so what do I do now? Quite simple. Let's start with the user input. If string dot is null or empty, user input dot text, then we want user input dot visibility to equal system dot windows dot visibility collapsed and we want watermark text dot visibility equal to system dot windows dot visibility visible and for the watermark text we want If it has focus, watermark text that visibility equals system that windows that visibility collapsed and user input dot visibility equals system that windows that visibility visible. And then we'll do user input dot focus. Right, pretty straightforward code, nothing too extravagant. So let's run this. Search should be there. We click into it. Perfect. Alright, now there are tons of things you can do to expand upon this idea. Uh, you can put this in a user control uh, with tons of text boxes. Or you could just do a single text box uh, user control so that way you can just add them in as you need them. But this is pretty much the gist of this code. Uh, if you have any questions regarding uh, this tutorial, please don't hesitate to add a comment below and please subscribe.